As a young girl, Lauren watched her late grandfather, post-war Manila Times editor Jose P. Bautista, toil in the newsroom of the old Manila Times. She learned and drew inspiration from her beloved grandfather's example on work ethic, witnessing the respect colleagues and subordinates accorded him. Early in life, she found her mission and her calling to one day become a guardian of truth, a faithful champion of information that belonged to the public. She decided to become a journalist. Lauren grew up in a family of newsmen, educators, and physicians. Hers was an environment enriched by the fundamental virtues of integrity, self-sacrifice, and service to others. Even then, Lauren's eyes were open to the dedication and devotion demanded by a life of public service. A few of her relatives were well-respected leaders in the provinces of Laguna and Antique. As she witnessed their experiences as government leaders and servants, she had the notion that the same would be her own fate. In the formative years of her education in Assumption, Lauren displayed charisma, leadership, and a passion for nature. Her own parents, Tony and the late Bessie Legarda, were her guide and model to become God-fearing, hard-working, disciplined, and responsible. She graduated valedictorian from grade school. As a teenager, Lauren was very naturally and impressively inquisitive. She was very driven to learn. No, she did not begin as a journalist. To those who would remember, her fresh and winsome features made her a familiar and natural favorite for print ads and television commercials during her teenage years. She was not so easily swayed by fame and popularity and was steadfast in her preparation for her main aim. She graduated cum laude from the University of the Philippines with a bachelor's degree in mass communications. Lauren broke into television work, appearing in variety shows such as What's Up with Orly Mercado and Discorama with the Apo Hiking Society. But her path was set, and Lauren inevitably became involved in journalism. This was to become her remarkable career in television for more than 20 years. Lauren's passion for broadcasting and her fire to serve led her to become a key figure in late-night news. From 1981 to 1998, Lauren reached out to Filipinos and the world through news and current affairs programs. Her hard work, determination, and dedication in broadcasting were recognized by respected award-giving institutions. The prestigious Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas Golden Dove Award, Catholic Mass Media Hall of Fame, Cultural Center of the Philippines Gawad Award, Earth Savers Media Award, and the Benigno Aquino Award for Journalism were but a few of these awards. She was also one of the 10 Outstanding Young Men Awardees in the year 1992, and one of the 10 Outstanding Women in Nation Service Awardees in the year 1993. The demands and challenges she faced as broadcast journalist only served to inspire Lauren to work harder. She juggled media work with the pursuit of a master's degree in National Security Administration at the National Defense College of the Philippines, where she was given the Best Theses Award and bestowed the rank of Lieutenant Colonel Reserve upon graduation. Lauren's name became synonymous with her personal advocacies. The protection of the environment, breast cancer awareness, and the campaign for literacy and love for books. 
unknown to many, Lauren was given the title of Ay Alabi, Honorary Muslim Princess by the Marawi Sultanate League for her exemplary work in advocating causes for our Muslim brothers and sisters. The year 1998 saw Lauren's initial foray in politics. She was to become the youngest senator in the 11th Congress. Winning on top of the race with more than 15 million votes, the young and dynamic senator gave a fresh new meaning to public service. Overwhelming trust was bestowed upon her by the Filipinos. This served as her inspiration and drive to spread her wings in the areas of lawmaking peace negotiations, protection of the rights of women and children, promotion of entrepreneurship, and environmental preservation. From day one, she armed herself with her time-tested formula of success, hard work, discipline, determination, and resourcefulness. The young senator touched millions of lives and was instrumental in uplifting many Filipinos from their dire situation. In the year 2000, Senator Legarda was named one of the global leaders for tomorrow by the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. In 2001, she was chosen among the Distinguished Global 500 Roll of Honor by the United Nations Environment Program, or the UNEP. In this same year, Lauren became the first woman in Philippine history to become Senate Majority Leader. Her efforts in championing environmental causes were recognized by the Priyadarshni Academy in Mumbai, India when she was given the award for the environment in the year 2004. She marked the year 2006 with the launch of her biography, The Story of Lauren Legarda, Her Legacy and Vision. The Senator's sincerity and unfailing integrity in or out of the political limelight was the brand of leadership that made a lasting impression upon the Filipinos. Testimony to this was the 2007 elections where 18 million votes elected her once again on top of the senatorial race. She currently holds the distinction of being the only woman senator to top the Senate race twice. Planet Earth is no longer the planet of placidity. In Fast the years that follow, Lauren's firm resolve to give a voice to climate change and disaster risk reduction in the Senate led her to her appointment as United Nations Regional Champion for Disaster Risk Reduction and Climate Change Adaptation in the Asia-Pacific in 2008. Today, Lauren continues to quietly and unwaveringly work for the world she had always dreamed of. A world of social justice, political integrity, and a healthy environment. She continues to forge on with passion, without pomp, despite challenges, criticisms, and unforeseen crises that test and confront our society. She continues to strive towards her vision of a better Philippines, a kinder world for women and children, and a sustainable environment. She continues to be a catalyst for change and an ally to all Filipinos whose dream is to help the Philippines become a great nation.